name is Chris Holton Jablonski, and it is my great joy and my deep honor to serve you as your minister and to welcome you to another wonderful digital worship offering. I want to lift up a couple things before we get going. One is that lots of wonderful programs are happening and are on the way. So do please check out uh, the emails and announcements that come with the highlights of those online programs. One is coming on uh, March 15th, which is a theology class with my beloved, my wife, Lauren Smith, who is also a minister, uh, and it should be about eschatology, about end times. Um, super fascinating. The first one was really interesting also. So do please check that out. And then in addition, we have the first principal project coming up um, where people can learn about the inherent worth and dignity of all people and have some good conversations around that. And special from your committee on ministry, we have our listening circles. Um, those are coming up at the end of the month and there'll be four opportunities, two in person here in the parish hall and two uh, on Zoom. So those are wonderful conversations or opportunities to reflect on every year, opportunities to reflect on the moment in the church and what you're looking for and what you're hungry for and how everything's going. And um, they've been really fascinating and wonderful, especially during the pandemic when our experience is so different. Uh, we really look forward to hearing people's feedback about everything. So um, those are gonna be on <clears throat> the evening of the 20th and the 23rd, which is a Sunday and a Wednesday, and then 10 o'clock and three o'clock on Saturday, the 26th. Pretty fancy. I had all those dates and times in my mind, but um, a Sign Up Genius will be going out in the email that brought you this order of service and be shared a bunch of different ways. So if you have any questions about that, process or any of that, reach out to me or Eloise McGaw or any of the other folks on the Committee on Ministry. Uh, we really look forward to hearing from you and please tell your friends because um, your feedback really does help us shape the coming year uh, and it's really, really helpful. So anyway, lots more, lots of opportunities and it's not too early to look forward to our outdoor services. We still need to get the blessing from the town, but I feel pretty good about that. And so we'll be having our Easter service outside uh, on April 17th. And then we'll have two more services outside on May 12th and May 15th and June 12th. Uh, and those are one service, big everybody all together, lots of wonderful music. So we really look forward to having those also. So more on all that coming. And in addition, uh, not to bury the lead, we're back in this building, which is so lovely for so many of you. Uh, it's been great to see many of you back and see many of you seeing each other again. That's been so beautiful. So if you can, uh, do please come. There's uh, signups online. Uh, we have the capacity up to 100 people for the 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock services, which is plenty of space. Um, we open up the parlor. We have lots of space here in the sanctuary. So um, do please sign up and come in for those. Those have been really wonderful. And we'll continue our Vesper services on Thursday night at 6.30. Those are smaller, contemplative, quiet, meditative, really wonderful. So do please come check all those out. And for now, come let us worship together.
I sat in a boat which was afloat. And there I began my thinking. But then I felt a poke, and the man beside me spoke. Look, the boat is sinking. Sinking? What was he thinking? I saw but only a crack. So I ignored his claim and went on the same and decided not to look back. I sat in a boat which was afloat, and there I did my thinking till my feet got wet, but I only got upset when the man yelled, See, we're sinking! Sinking? What was he thinking? I saw only a puddle. So again, I ignored his claim and went on the same and left the man in a ruddle. I was in a boat. Now I swim to float. Geez, what was I thinking? Now I hear the man who wanted me to understand. Our boat was always sinking. This year, starting on March 13th, we will have our next installment of our 40 for the Earth initiative. And this is in collaboration with our wonderful FCB Green team. Uh, many, many of us will take up a practice for the Earth for 40 days leading up to Earth Day, which is on April 22nd. I've always cherished this 40 for the Earth uh, as an opportunity to do two things, uh, both to learn and to act. So this year, my commitments are that I will uh, be a vegetarian for these 40 days. And in addition, every day I will learn at least one thing about plants. I'm really excited uh, for The Secret Life of Trees, and another book on fungus, whose name escapes me right now, that Bayard Crumsmith uh, turned me on to, which is on my bookshelf. I'm so excited about it. Uh, and so every day we'll be looking to learn, and every day be sort of mindfully eating and, and thinking about a plant-based diet. So those are my commitments, uh, and I'm engaging my three children and my wife, who will all take up their own, uh, and it's a wonderful opportunity to be a little more mindful, to be a little more attentive to this moment that we're sharing. Just recently, I was listening to a Buddhist teacher who has become a climate activist, 
and he was saying one of the very difficult things about paying attention to the crisis that we're in is it can come with so many emotions, it can come with so much despair and depression, so much hopelessness. And I find that that's often true, especially when I think of my children and, and their children. When I think of all of this that's happening, all of this that's irreversible, all of this that we're facing, and I prefer to experience those feelings and be wide open, taking all of this in, than to not be paying attention. And so these 40 days stretched out before us are an opportunity to pay attention. And together, many, many of us, together, to have an expanded effect. So we invite you, either starting with us on March 13th, uh, or starting whenever you see this video, whether it's in the middle of June or any time, uh, to take up practice for 40 days uh, of mindfulness, of learning, of action. We, through collaboration with the FCB Green Team, we have a huge list of things that they generated a little while ago. We'll publicize that on the website and we'll share that. And we'll also curate a smaller list of possible actions that we'll be lifting up in the services on the 13th and also on social media. So do check out Facebook and other places for more invitations. And then once everyone makes their commitments, we'll be sharing those uh, on Facebook as well. So anyway, we welcome you in to this expanded effort for these many days with these waters rising right here in this moment grounded in the truth of what is, open to all that still can be done. We give thanks. So much love to you all. Um.